Tab Baldwin has been preparing for this since before season 84 started. In fact, there have been news throughout 2022 about blue chip recruits committing to play for the Blue Eagles in the upcoming season. Some are transferees from other schools and already serving their residency, while a few will be graduating from high school and will be able to join the team as true freshmen in time for season 86. Let's now take a look at the possible new faces that are waiting in the wings to join the Ateneo men's basketball program. First up is Mason Amos. Last April 25th, it was announced that the Blue Eagles have secured the commitment of the Phil Australian big man. This is the signing of a big man that has, in the modern game today, perimeter skills that we love to see, particularly in our program here at the Ateneo, Blue Eagles head coach Tab Baldwin said. Mason gives us that inside and outside presence. He's a big strong player, he's an aggressive player as many Australians are. We love that quality about him. Amos, 18 years old, stands 6 foot 7 inches and can play all three front court positions. He was a member of the Philippines under-18 team that played in the FIBA Asia under-18 championships in Iran. He averaged 21.5 points and 5.8 rebounds in the tournament and was the team's leading scorer. He will have five years of eligibility as he is joining straight out of high school. Next up is Kyle Gamber. It was announced on August 6 that Gamber, a 6'4", Phil American guard from Polytech High School in Delaware, has committed to the Blue Eagles. Coach Tab Baldwin had this to say about Gamber, Kyle is very much an all-purpose guard. He's a big guard. He's a guy that is very comfortable with the ball in his hand, but he's also a guy that understands the game. He's got great court vision, knows how to pass the ball, and an excellent shooter. As the lead guard for Polytech, he averaged 17.1 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 assist per game. He also participated in the last FIBA Asia Under-18 Championships, where he averaged 6.8 points and 3.2 rebounds per game. Gamber is 18 years old, and similar to Amos, should have the full five years of eligibility. Other fresh from high school recruits being mentioned include LeBron Nieto of the Ateneo Blue Eaglets, Rafi Salas, and Michael Asaro from Sacred Heart School Ateneo de Cebu. Aside from high school recruits, there are also several players currently either serving their residency as transferees from other schools or redshirting during their freshman year. These include Joseph Obasa, Albert Opinia Jr., Jared Brown, and Andrew Bongo. Among the four, Joseph Obasa seems to have the inside track as the 6'10 center from Nigeria will be the team's next foreign student athlete, replacing former UAAP MVP Angelo Kwame. He will provide the much-needed interior presence vacated by Kwame. He was part of the Blue Eagles lineup in the World University Basketball Series that was played in Japan and showed a lot of potential, both on offense and defense. Obasa is 21 years old and has two years of eligibility remaining. J.R. Opinia, Andrew Bongo, and Jared Brown all play the guard positions. So that should somehow cushion the impact of the departures of Il Defonso and Andrade. One other possible recruit who could prove to be a game changer for the Ateneo Blue Eagles is 6 foot 6 forward LeBron Lopez. Lopez is a former Blue Eaglet who supposedly left in 2021 for the United States to join Overtime Elite, a professional league based in Atlanta, Georgia. The league aims to provide an alternative pathway for talented teenagers to become professional athletes. Unfortunately for Lopez, he encountered problems in securing his U.S. visa and was unable to join the league. His amateur status is now uncertain and he will have to wait and see if the UAAP board allows him to play next season. If he is allowed to suit up, he will bring much needed size and athleticism to the team and will immediately make the Blue Eagles the frontrunner for next season's title. There are other players from the Glory B team, Ateneo's Team B, who could crack the seniors team, players such as Jason Credo and Ian Espinosa will get their chances to prove their worth. Here's what Coach Tab had to say about next year's lineup. We have a lot of recruits coming in next year. In our program, we don't play around with the truth, and the truth is, if you want to be a Blue Eagle next year, you have to fight for your spot. According to team manager Epo Kempo, it's a cutthroat competition among the players in the Blue Eagles' 28-man pool to land these open slots. So despite losing six key players from the Season 85 championship team, the Blue Eagles should be primed for another strong title run come Season 86 with the arrival of these blue-chip recruits.